came back to India in uh, 1965 and I took a job as college lecturer in uh, Madras. Uh, I very quickly realised that college lecturers on our salary travelled third class. <laughs> and so I have seen a lot of India by third class in the middle of the hot season because that's when we got our holidays. Yes. Uh, it's not a bad time. All the people are going to and from their marriages and all of that, so there's always a happy crowd on the train in uh, <coughs> April and May. Uh, but I wrote up a lot of that, and it's on um, the IRFCA website. So I don't have to talk about that now. So fast forward, therefore, um, to 1975. And I thought that would be suitable to talk about, since uh, in 1975 I actually set out from Delhi and uh, started travelling south. And so I got up early one morning in uh, late February 1975 and uh, turned up at Delhi Junction. And this was before the time of the special big booking office. So instead, the booking windows were all right around the station, <laughs> under the veranda, right around. And all for specific places. And luckily, there was no queue at the Bikinia window. I didn't, not so many people wanted to go there. Got ticket very easily. Went on to platform one, round to the left. And uh, there, of course, the meter gauge base, uh, bay platforms in those days. Um, a very cramped yard, actually, because it was limited in the extent because of the broad gauge turning south to New Delhi. And. Uh, the mail had just arrived from uh, Ahmedabad and uh, people were getting out looking very sleepy and the steam engines, the steam was going up, the sun had just risen, beautiful pink colour, lovely smell. Uh, and of course in those days Indian railways were brown railways. <laughs> Except that I told the colour was actually called Indian red. Uh, at least in Australia, we had a brown colour that was called Indian Red. And I think it was actually pinched from the Indian Railways. And in fact, quite a few Australian trains looked the same as the Indian ones. It was brown colour with yellow writing. Uh, the train for the Express from Ahmedabad was actually in two different shades of brown, so that just shows that the, uh, the change of, uh, of approach was beginning. <coughs> On the platform that the Bikinia train was supposed to go from, there was a suburban local. Now, these uh, Delhi suburban locals were wonderful. Uh, down in uh, Chennai, we had steam suburban on the broad gauge, but usually only one engine. And I think in Kolkata, can anybody correct me, the, uh, the steam suburban out of Sialda was uh, one engine per train. But in Delhi, they always put two. <laughs> Uh, one from the front and one on the back, both uh, the back one going tender first and pushing for all it was worth and the front one going fast too. And that made for a very sprightly suburban service and very interesting to watch. Well, eventually the uh, Bikinia rate docked and uh, there had been a YP that didn't know what to do with itself. So when other trains came, it would go on to some other siding and then it would come forward and go and take another train had to go go somewhere else. Eventually it found that uh, it was our, our local and so uh, we set out to Bikinia with YP and quite a long trail, about 10 car carriages I suppose. Uh, not all integral. In those days uh, there was still the, uh, the wooden sided carriages were still quite common even on uh, express trains. So out to, uh, to Bikinia. Uh, turn right at Rawari, uh, go through a little range of hills and everything gets a lot drier, and then go uh, through lots of sandy cuttings where the sand keeps coming down as the train goes past, and you think there must be all of these men shuffling it back after the train is gone. Bikinir <laughs> uh, was quite a interesting place for me. Uh, not only was the water there very salty, and so we knew we were in the desert. I, th I think the water there has improved now. Uh, but of course it was the capital of a native state railway. And that meant it had a special station suitable for the Maharaja. With a big wide platform and then a building with all sorts of 
Ram Maharaj of Architecture, on top. Uh, and a, uh, a parking lot which was full of Tongas and smelt it. <laughs> so 